Since it was introduced in 2002 by General Dynamics Land Systems, the Striker Land Vehicle has been one heck of a versatile machine. With 10 configurations, this 8-wheeled, armored combat vehicle provides the U.S. Army with an effective mix of capabilities, including infantry transport, offensive firepower, and reconnaissance. Roll the Striker Land Vehicle onto C-130, C-17, or C-5 aircraft, and it can be deployed combat ready to any contingency area around the globe. The Striker Land Vehicle is designed for agile maneuvering in urban settings while providing protection in open terrain. Recent upgrades to add a double V-hull have vastly improved troop survivability against IEDs, the enemy weapon of choice in Afghanistan. Unique Technology what really sets the Striker family of combat vehicles apart from others is its versatility. Its 10 configurations can be operated by a crew as small as two and can carry as many as nine infantry soldiers. Relying on common parts between variants and other army vehicles, the Striker has maintained a superb 96% readiness rate throughout the ongoing conflicts in Afghanistan and the surrounding regions. Power and Drivetrain the Striker Land Vehicle is currently powered by a 350 horsepower Caterpillar JP8 diesel engine. A commercial off-the-shelf replacement engine is scheduled to boost performance by nearly 30% to a whopping 450 horsepower. Hooked up to a six-speed Allison transmission, this eight-wheel drive combat vehicle can handle any terrain. Not to mention, its four-wheel steering allows for exceptional maneuverability. Cost. Based on recent U.S. Army purchases, the Striker Land Vehicle costs roughly $5.2 million. With 85% of common parks across the 10 configurations, the Striker is able to maintain low operating and life cycle costs. Armament The standard weaponry is a remote weapon station equipped with either a .50 caliber or 7.62mm M240 machine gun or a MK-19 grenade launcher. For more firepower, the Striker Land Vehicle can also carry two tube-launched, optically tracked, wire-guided, tow, missile systems, a 120mm recoil mortar system, or a 105mm main gun, depending on its configuration. Uses. This vehicle can do just about anything. As mentioned before, there are a whopping 10 different configurations off the two base platforms, infantry carry a vehicle and mobile gun system, giving Striker Brigade combat teams a slew of capabilities. These include anti-tank guided missiles, mobile C4ISR, engineering support, fire support, target ID, acquisition, and designation, 9-man infantry transport, medical evacuation, mobile gun system, mortar, NBC reconnaissance, and general reconnaissance capabilities. Speed. The Striker can reach speeds of 60 miles per hour not bad for a 19-ton combat vehicle. History and Development. The Striker entered service in 2002 and is named after two Medal of Honor recipients killed in World War II in Vietnam, respectively. There are currently more than 4,100 in service. After performing exceptionally in Iraq's urban terrain, the Striker initially struggled in Afghanistan. Prone to devastating IED, attacks, the vehicle was outfitted with a new double V hull. The improved design led to staggering improvements in soldier survivability. In 2012, LT Gen Bill Phillips, then Principal Military Deputy to the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology, commented on the Striker's redesigned hull. Seven of the ten Striker variants have been outfitted with the special hull design. Only the mobile gun system and two reconnaissance versions come solely with flat bottoms. In October 2016, the first Striker infantry carrier vehicle prototype equipped with a 30mm cannon was delivered to the Army. This came in response to the discovery of increased Russian capabilities following their 2015 invasion of Ukraine.